my friends, welcome. I'm Susanna, Susanna of Forever Yoga with Susanna. This is a strong bones challenge workout, yoga style. We'll be doing the six standing postures that are recommended if you have osteoporosis. Six plus, got a few more to do um, that I think are important. It will be all standing. Um, if you would like to grab a chair, um, possibly you might want a chair along with me. I'm going to use a chair today uh, for one of the postures. You could potentially use a block or two blocks or not. See how it goes. And um, that's it. It's going to be pretty easy. So let's get started standing in Tadasan Mountain Pose as we like to do. Root down in two feet and lift all your toes. So while we're getting started and you're getting grounded and lifting your toes, I'd like to welcome you to my new space because this is the very first video I am filming in my New York home. Inhale through your nose, exhale, plant the toes back down. So those of you that have been with me for a while, you're used to my Toronto space maybe my Massachusetts space. This is my new New York space. What do you think? Okay. Now we're going to come up onto our tippy toes and balance and then come down with an impact. The heels are going to bounce. That's a heel bounce. Let's do 10. Inhale, lift up and come down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, last one. Come down and then lift up for a challenging balancing toe tadasan position. Tadasan is mountain pose. So you're balancing on your tippy toes and the balls of your feet. Bring the arms up as far as they'll go. Stretch up, reach up, breathe, breathe. And exhale, when you're ready, you're going to come down with a big bounce. There you go. Good. Step that out. Good. And then a little bit of warm-ups. Just rotate your ankles. And both ankles, one at a time. <laughs> Great. And then, you know, don't make a big deal out of this. But you definitely want to warm up the joints before we hold the postures. How about some hip circles? Should do gentle warm ups every morning like like this and before you start any real exercise. Uh, hip circles would be great. Let's do hip circles. Good. And then some nice shoulder rolls. To bring the arms out and up and down. Interlace your fingers in front of your chest and then press away, a little stretch, right? And I'm not really rounding, I'm pressing but not rounding and stretching my wrists, fingers and arms. Lift them up overhead again, press, press. And then I do want to do a little side exercise, a little bit of lateral stretching side to side to get us ready for the, that Triangle and side angle bend. Good. There you go. Warmed up. Ready? Let's get started. All right. So face the top of your mat that's like the right side of your mat. With your feet a few inches apart, parallel, root down, weight in the heels. Bring both arms overhead and stretch and breathe. Good. Now, while you're stretching up, soften the knees, hinge at your hips, and then come down into your chair pose or Utkatasana. Now, if your upper body and shoulders feel weak, tired, or strained, you can place your hands on your hips instead, or you might try cactus pose. Or, if this feels good, this is the the kind of the full expression, as we say, of Utkatasana, chair pose. Breathe. Feel your, the weight in your heels. 
Feel how strong your legs are and hold. Hold for about five more breaths. That's a lot. Good, rooting down to rise up. So you push the earth away as you stretch up and then gently release your arms. Step out wide on your mat. Take your right foot and point it to the right. Left heel angles out. Reach your arms out to the side and stretch. Kind of feel yourself lifted and then lengthen. Hinge at this hip, sending your left hip to the left. And then you can kind of go slide and glide a little bit to prepare for Trikonasana. Drop your right hand to your right leg somewhere. It's just going to hang there. It's not going to hold on or grip. It's going to just position it somewhere and then it doesn't matter where. You decide. Then hold. Then lean back. Tailbone, spine, neck, crown, one straight line. Top arm can go straight up and that's your, your triangle position. Let's hold this for a few breaths. Terrific. Now take a deeper breath in, reach to the sky, arms out, pivot both feet forward, and relax your arms. Good. Other side. Point your left foot to the left. Angle your right heel. Good. Lift, the, lift your sternum, extend your arms, reach, and then your right hip goes to the right as you hinge your left hip and then reach, take a breath and exhale. Float, make it very easeful and then hold. See if you can think of your tailbone dropping down and your navel drawing gently in and choose to either look straight ahead, you could look down or you could look up. Find breath. Let's take about three more breaths here. Conscious, aware breaths through your nose. Not really deep breaths, just easy breaths. Now on this next inhale, you'll stretch it up, arms out, pivot both feet forward. Turn your palms to the sky like you're holding two trays. Soften your right knee. You're going to step this left leg over. As you step up, both arms will go overhead. Ta-da. And release your arms. Release your arms. Beautiful. Okay. Ready for warrior? Let's start warrior sequence uh, on the left, okay? So left foot back, right foot. It's basically very similar position to starting position for your feet. As triangle. So get into your warrior stance, but the knee stays bent for warrior two. But arms get extended and we reach again. This time your gaze will go right over that left middle finger. Find your breath. Put your mind in your feet and really feel how strong they are, your foundation. Turn palms up. Bring your arms overhead, palms touch like prayer hands overhead and stretch up. Now drop your right hand behind you until you can slide your hand down your leg and then reverse warrior. It's a side bend, find breath. Side angle bend, forearm to thigh, top shoulder rolls back, navel comes into spine, tailbone drops. This forearm is not pressing down on, your, on the thigh bone. It's just lightly touching. It's a shelf, but only just for position. You could keep your hand, top hand, right on your hip, or you could extend it up, or you could go right over the ear, and that's your side angle bend situation. 
Choose the position of your arm that feels most supportive for you today. Good, now root down to rise up. What does that mean? Press and then push. Lift up, arms out. Both feet forward. Let's go right on over to the other side. So we're gonna position our feet for warrior two with your right foot to the right. Arms extend, front knee is bent. Knee should be going like in the same direction as your toes. Arms are nice and energized. Warrior two, gaze out over that right middle finger. Feel really strong and empowered. That's why we call it warrior. You're the strength warrior. Good, now turn your palms up. Extend arms overhead till you're clapping up, up there. Prayer hands overhead. You could stretch. And now drop left hand to the left leg. Bend your knee more. Sink down and side. No, reverse warrior. This is your reverse warrior. It is a side stretch. Find yourself in reverse warrior. Should feel good. And now... Prepare for side angle bend, inhale, exhale. You'll bring the forearm to the thigh, palm up. It just lightly supports you there. Top shoulder rolls back and choose the arm position that you like, okay? I enjoy the traditional side angle bend stretch so that there's a straight line, a line, we call it a line of energy, from the side of my foot back there all the way through to the fingertips here. And I breathe up that line of energy. Inhale, exhale, push off, straighten up, release the arms, pivot your foot forward. And this time we're gonna step over to the left side and down. Okay, now we'll do a revolve triangle pose. Uh, I'm gonna use a chair to do this posture in a modified way with a chair. Those of us who are uh, exploring ways to do yoga safely, if we have low bone density, may have heard twisting can be dangerous. And this is a serious twist, but and yet research has shown it has not been dangerous. There have been no fractures reported from folks who are doing this relatively challenging position. So I challenge myself to do it with you in a very safe way. Because um, rotating is important for, um, for us to function in the world and to keep everything moving. So here's what we'll do. We will step the right foot forward and put the left foot in the angle with the hip bones going straight in the same direction towards the right side of my mat and towards my chair here. Then, both legs are straight. We're gonna extend the left arm straight up and then reach, 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 reach forward until I have found my chair. I'm even gonna bring it closer. Yeah, so I'm gonna put my hand on this chair. Now you could be doing this hand on blocks or even the floor. If you're familiar, you know you could even cross over if you've done this lots of times. But if you're kind of new to this, uh, this is a great way to do it. So hand on your chair, the left hip comes forward, the right hip goes back. And now I'm gonna turn, look to the side and that's my where I revolve my upper body. Yes, I'm twisting. And perhaps lift the other arm up and breathe. If that feels a little unstable, hand on hip and find breath. Good. We'll hold for two more breaths. Good. And then slowly unwind and lift up. Stretch up and relax. Good. Soften that front knee and step up. 
I'll do the other side and I'll just do it from in the same direction. Okay, because when I twist, then I'll get to see you. <laughs> okay, so starting in Tadasan, we'll step your left foot forward. Right foot is in an angle. Good. For those of you familiar, this would be a warrior one stance because your hip bones are going straight forward. And we're going to straighten the forward leg. And then if this is your left leg, your right arm goes straight up and then leans forward until you stop on your support. And then the other hand is on my hip, right? I'm going to turn my sternum towards the side and then I'm rotating my upper body, right? Extend the arm up if you choose. It may feel uh, uncomfortable, then hand could stay on your hip. We'll find two more breaths here. Take a breath in. Exhale, look down, rotate, and then push off, lift up, and step forward. Voila, there we go. So we've done, did we do all five poses? No, we didn't do tree pose. <laughs> um, we did Utkatasana, that was the bonus. But we've done triangle, warrior, side angle, that was revolved triangle. Now for a balancing pose, tree. Um, I'm not going to do tree. I'm going to do a different balancing pose with you. So you do you. Do you. Um, tree might be an option. Okay, and I'm going to use the, have the chair nearby because you might want a chair nearby. Okay, two feet root down. Tree uh, support is nearby if I need it. I'm going to uh, use my right standing leg. Lift the uh, toes up and down, up and down. Good. All right. So tree is so, you know, yesterday, right? You've done so many trees. <laughs> Let's do crane with leg extended. Woo, that's good. The thing is that you want to, the reason this is good for bones is because we are putting all that extra weight on this hip bone. This leg is taking all the load, all the force. So in terms of its benefit for strong bones, whether we're in tree, which is this one, or any other balancing position, that's where the, the secret lies in the strength building. So you do you, um, and hang out for a little while on one leg. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun here, just sort of moving it around. Woo! Good, and release. Feel the burn. Okay, other side. Rooting down. Standing on that leg I was just stretching. Root down. Lift up. Okay. So I'm going to extend and bend, extend and bend. Yes, and then I'll rotate out to the side a little bit just for fun. Do some I Dream of Genie hands here. Woo. And the longer I can hang out standing on one leg, the better. Extend and bend. Okay. Extend and hold. Woo! And release. Good. Step out. Okay, people. I've got a chair here. <laughs> and I'm going to sit in it. Woo! Take a moment. Find your breath. If you're sitting in a chair or standing or whatever, let's do a gentle finishing up twist. Place one hand on the opposite thigh, leg, or hip, other hand behind you. Turn. 
good. Come forward. And then the other side. Turn. And forward. And namaste. Thank you. I think we got a lot done there for our bones. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, a like. And if you'd like to join the Strong Bones Challenge Facebook group below this video, there is a link to join the group if you're not already in it. And lastly, want to connect with me personally? There's a link to my email list. So if you sign up for my email list, you will learn uh, what I did personally that increased my bone density and you'll get some other fun emails from me um, that I hope you enjoy. So go ahead, join my email list. I want to get to know you and comment below as well. Have an awesome day. Thank you.